And this next question from Kirk Batzer is a representative one of a few other comments I had about all of the remote controls that were on my coffee table in my home theater room uh, for my OLED television review. And uh, the reality is I'm not using most of those remotes. In fact, some of them are for devices that I've since stopped using and I never just took the remotes away. So I've got a bunch on the coffee table there. I've got a bunch more in a bin behind it. Uh, and Kirk and a few other viewers are wondering what I'm using for universal remotes. And uh, to be honest, what I'm really using now is just mostly uh, HDMI CEC controls through my television or through my receiver. Uh, and that's really been helpful, especially because I never have my controllers charged fully for the NVIDIA Shield. So uh, having the ability to control the Shield for movie watching through uh, another remote really works out pretty well. So I know a lot of people like these all you know, integrated solutions and everything, but uh, for me, uh, HDMI CEC has been okay. And to be honest with you, I've always been one of these people that likes having a specific remote for a specific device. I always liked the fact that the remote was designed for that particular device and has all the buttons in the right place for me. So I've never been all that opposed to having multiple remotes and it also prevents people in my house though I don't want using the system like my kids or my wife sometimes from uh, messing up my settings. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters including gold level supporters the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.